Hello everyone. This video will walk you through how the A tool file can be customized with the calibration profile in Embedded Coder. This feature can be used for both Embedded Coder and the Simulink Coder. Myself Anju, a developer in Control Design Automation. So let's get started. Open the model and use the Embedded Coder app to go to Code Perspective. To configure individual model elements, use the individual element code mapping. You can apply the calibration properties to signal states, inputs, outputs, data stores, and parameters. To enable the editor in Embedded Coder, use the checkbox Calibration and Measurement Properties. For Simulink Coder, the editor is available by default. As an example, let us provide the values to the parameters. Click on the icon to open the editor to enter the calibration properties. The calibration axis is an enum with the values calibration and no calibration. The display identifier can be used as a display name alternative to the name attribute. The format specified here overrules the display format specified in the compute method. The compute method can be used as a name for the compute method object in the A2L file. Once all properties are provided, build the model to generate the code. To generate the A2L file, navigate to the share icon and click on the generate calibration files tool. This tool can be used to generate the A2L file with the calibration properties. We can toggle the CDF to off since we just need the A2L file at this point. Provide the simple file to have the addresses replaced in the generated A2L file. Now you're ready to generate the file. The success dialog appears once the file is generated and click open to open the file. The A2L now has the properties that were defined in the editor. The calibration axis tag isn't present as we've set the calibration axis to calibration which is the default behavior. The compute method can be used to provide a custom name for the conversion method. We have some documentations that could come in handy for exploring this feature. Configure model data elements for ASAP2 file generation describes how the calibration profile could be used to customize the A2L file. To know more on the tool to generate the A2L file, refer the page Generate ASAP2 and CDF Calibration File. The documentation page Calibrate Generated Code and Monitor Signals provides the information on configuring the model to use the XCP communication channel and generating the AWL file. So this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you.